Covering Orange County, a Central Florida man is not going to get out of jail anytime soon. Frank Bauer is one of three men charged in the April ninja style armed robbery in Windermere. West Two's Gail Pascal Brown is live at the Orange County Courthouse. And Gail, you spoke exclusively with one of the victims in this case. Absolutely. And he says this is exactly what should have happened. You recall last week, Judge Tim Shea said there needs to be more time for this. He had to continue it. So he set aside an hour and a half. Well, Judge Tim Shea made his decision in less than 10 minutes. The defendant is to be held without bond. Orange County Judge Tim Shea wasted no time at the bond hearing for 54 year old Frank Bauer, who was seeking bond for count one armed burglary of a Windermere home in April. The judge went even further. Count one. Count two, count three, count four, count five. You already, you already has bonds, so are you revoking his bonds? Yes. Bond? The judge revoked all bonds except in two lesser charges. The state says Bauer confessed to the crime. Bauer and two other men are charged in the April home invasion of Windermere resident and thrill ride inventor Bill Kitchen, who spoke exclusively with West 2 News today. I think it's important that uh, this gentleman stay off the street. And I think everybody in the neighborhood feels that way. This wasn't his uh, first walk in this park. And uh, I think this is what, what should have happened. Detectives say the robbers dressed as ninjas and tied up Kitchen and his partner. I mean, I'm an uh, Air Force veteran, but I, am, I was terrified. And it was, uh, it was damaging to my psyche probably forever. I have to walk in the house with an alarm in my pocket now. Tina, do you? Do you feel like speaking with us now, Fina? Any comments? Okay. Frank Bauer's wife, Fina Perez, just cried after the judge's decision. She kept her head down as she left the courthouse. I wasn't talking to you. Now, Frank Bauer will have to remain in jail until his trial, and that trial could start in the fall or as early as 2015. If convicted, he could face life in prison. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live at the Orange County Courthouse for West 2 News.